Good morning, everybody. This is day five. Yeah. As you can see, these seven are very healthy, healthy and this some one. of them have really, really fat bellies. They've been eating very well. Look at this belly. Look at and a when chunk. You, the, you stretch it, you can see him. that curve. Look at, look at, yeah, see to, the curve. Compared to him. So we mentioned we had one that was not eating. How do you tell if they're not eating? So, Hayden, can you move your hand yeah. so I can, can zoom you keep, in? Stop. Hayden, you keep touching like every single baby. Okay. So when you look at the bellies, so you can see. Let's see if I can show so you the I, difference. So there's that. This one mm -hmm. is eating well. But see then, how the roundness is. Wait, but so then the, we you have look the chunk. This one. And this one. Very well. <laughs> Because you can see that. this, there's not a ton of wrinkles in his skin. Here's another one. And then you can see, I'm trying to show the curve. Together. You can see he's got a curve on his belly. So the baby that we unfortunately lost yesterday morning was very thin, very wrinkly. You could tell it wasn't eating. And that's why we took that baby and put it with the mom by itself, trying to encourage it to nurse. But thankfully, well, this morning, all seven things. of the remaining look great. Yes, they look very chunky and healthy. And <laughs> look at him. such cute little faces. Look at them. They're all trying to pile together. Look, look, so in the nest, in the nest, you would have them do this, just like they're doing right here. They they all cuddle together in a little pile. He's about to roll. That and the fur over them that the uh, doe will pull is what keeps them warm. Now you can see. You can see the eyes are starting to develop more and more. Eyes don't open until about day 12, uh, 10 to 12. Yeah. So maybe day nine at the most, but right now you can see they're developing more. Maybe day nine at the least. And you can still see some of them have their little umbilical cords. This like one right this here, one still dragging this his. One here. I'll flip this one and show you. It, but you can see it's drying out a lot. It looks and like it will fall off twig. all by itself. It one. You don't want to pull on them. You don't want to mess with them. Just leave them alone. Yep. Some of them have lost them. Some of them have not. If I think look, this one like right this here. One have one. If he's already see, lost he's his or she. The, those, They're the chunk. See how he's got like that look, black mark? That's where he's a black belly now. He has a black belly now. Yep. And we're gonna have some very interesting colors. Oh, yes. Oh, look at it. Look at <laughs> yes, the look at the little teefers. You can see if how look, sweet they look. Look at his colors. And the back, he has a brighter color. And on the side, he has darker colors. And we're just learning about all of this. So mm -hmm. we're this told that it looks like this one will be a black, uh, black tort. Yeah, we are not. This we're one, we're not sure. This one is going to be we're white. We think it's going to be a sable point, but we're not entirely sure. Well, the only thing with Sable Point is they have, um, oh, yeah, see his so a see the gray. little bit of gray? So it might be a Sable Point. In yeah. this last litter of this match, Pumpkin his and Milo. is a little darker, which would be a Sable Point. And yep. if you look, he's got a little on his eye, too. And in the last batch that we had, um, they had a Sable Point. Yeah. These other ones would be a cream. If you look at him, you can cream see Cream Vienna. So you can see the beautiful like brown or orange. Mom has orange. Yeah, mom is an orange goody. What is that? This one is a little bit more gray. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video. Yeah, it's kind of So if we were to put this one next to this one, maybe you guys can see the color difference. See how this one has more of like a tan. This one is more of like a gray. Oh, big hops. Should and get... the dad, Milo, he has a little bit more of a gray. Yeah. yeah, the dad is a cream Vienna, in case anybody was curious. And they are Holland Lops. Mm -hmm. So that means their ears are going to get all flappy. Yes. And they just continue to get cuter and cuter Let's as just... they do their little wiggles. Yes. So we welcome any questions you guys have. Um, obviously, we are not perfect at this. We're still learning ourselves. This is my 13-year-old daughter, Natalia's 4-H project. And this is the second litter that she's gotten from this, um, her mom, Pumpkin. Yeah. And dad, Milo. Who is right here. This with is dad, Milo. Hayden. Who with Hayden. Helping. And Milo is Hayden's rabbit. 
Milo is full pedigree, which means that we know what his mom and dad uh, have color-wise and everything. They yes. look so similar. Look, yeah, look, very, very similar. Look Unfortunately for Pumpkin, we do not know her background. When we bought her, we bought her from the fair, from the open barn, and we know that she was a Holland Lap. They said she was a uh, a purebred Holland Lap, but she did not come with a pedigree. I would let you guys see her, but she's kind of mean, so and she's kind of hard to get out. She's she a she wants to be left alone right now. Yeah, because she's you know? very stressed with all the babies. If you had seven babies, you'd probably want to be left alone at times, too. <laughs> Look, at this one's trying to get milk from the other one. They, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Look all right, put one. that one back in so we have all seven in the video here. Put the baby back in. Oh, all not right. Milk there either. Hayden, don't put him down. All right, so we are going to sign off, but we wanted to give you guys a good long video of the babies today. Hayden, gentle. All right, that way you can see all the little wiggles and see how healthy everybody looks today. They're trying to burrow into the pile. <laughs> so, we hope you guys all have a great day, and we will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.